गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द जोमेट्री ऑनलाइन सेशन दिस इज द सेवेंथ सेशन ऑन जोमेट्रिक कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड वी हैव कंप्लीटेड प्रैक्टिस सेट फोर पॉइंट वन एंड फोर पॉइंट टू एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद प्रॉब्लम सेट फोर ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द कंस्ट्रक्शन पार्ट फोर सम फ्रॉम प्रॉब्लम सेट फोर ड्रॉ अ सर्कल ऑफ डायमीटर सिक्स पॉइंट फोर सेंटीमीटर टेक पॉइंट आर एट अ डिस्टेंस इक्वल टू इट्स डायमीटर फ्रॉम द सेंटर ड्रॉ टेंजेंट्स फ्रॉम पॉइंट आर सो हियर वॉट इज गिवेन टू अस डायमीटर इज गिवेन इंस्टेड ऑफ रेडियस सो कैन यू फाइंड रेडियस फ्रॉम द डायमीटर येस सो वॉट इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर दैट करेक्ट रेडियस इज इक्वल टू डायमीटर अपॉन टू दैट इज इक्वल टू सिक्स पॉइंट फोर अपॉन टू दैट इज इक्वल टू थ्री पॉइंट टू सेंटीमीटर ओके सो वी गॉट द रेडियस यर सो विथ दिस रेडियस वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉ वन सर्कल एंड द सेंटर ऑफ द सर्कल इज ओ ओके सो हियर आई हैव ड्रॉन फर्स्ट यू हैव टू ड्रॉ द रफ फिगर सो हियर आई हैव ड्रॉन द सर्कल विथ सेंटर ओ एंड रेडियस थ्री पॉइंट टू सेंटीमीटर then you have to show the diameter of 6.4 cm then what is given take a take point r at a distance equal to its diameter from the center so here i have taken point r at distance of 6.4 cm then draw tangents from point r that means from point r you have to draw the tangents so for that i have drawn the perpendicular bisector of or and then i have drawn two tangents okay so this is the rough figure now with the help of this figure we are going to draw the fair figure okay so let's start drawing the fair figure so what is the first step yes we are going to draw a circle of radius 3.2 cm okay so let's take compass and in the compass you have to take 3.2 cm distance so this way we are going to take 3.2 cm distance in the compass draw one circle now you have to write center as o okay now you have to mention the diameter of this circle because in the question diameter is given so you have to mention it in the figure also okay so here i am drawing the diameter like this you are going to draw a diameter and this diameter we are going to extend because on that diameter only we have to take point r okay so write the distance of diameter that is 6.4 cm okay now you have to take point r at a distance of 6.4 cm from its center so this you can take with the help of scale also or using compass also you can take point r okay so i am showing here how to take point r at distance of 6.4 cm so in the compass you will take distance of 6.4 cm and then you will put pointer on point o and you will draw an arc on this ray this way so whatever point you are getting here that point will be your point r okay so this is your point r and the distance of segment or is yes it is 6.4 cm 
that also you have to mention now what will be the next step you have to draw the tangents for that what you'll do you have to find the midpoint so you have to draw a you have to take more than the half the distance of or and you will put pointer on point o and you will draw an arc above or and below or okay then you have to put pointer on point r and now i am extending that arc point r and you have to draw one intersecting arc above and one intersecting arc below so this way you will get two points highlight those points and then with the help of scale you are going to draw a perpendicular bisector okay and this perpendicular bisector cuts segment or at one point that point is point m so with om as the radius you have to draw one circle okay now here without drawing the perpendicular also you can easily see that the radius will be 3.2 cm because distance is 6.4 okay but go step wise you have to do all the steps here so we have to draw the perpendicular bisector then taking m as a center and om as a radius i am drawing one circle here now this circle is touching the first circle at two points so name those points as point a and point b and these two points you have to join to point r okay so first i am joining point a and point r this way so this will be your first tangent and then you have to join point b to point r okay this way okay so these are the two required tangents from point r to the given circle okay so this is the construction you have to do neat and clean figure you have to draw so i hope you all have understood this so let's move on to the next question fifth sum draw a circle with center p draw an arc ab of 100 degree measure draw tangents to the circle at point a and point b now this is very simple when only here one uh, measure of one arc is given so for that first you have to draw a circle now your radius is not mentioned so you can draw a circle of any radius and the center is given as point p then you have to draw an arc of 100 cm 100 degree measure okay that means you have to take point a on the circle anywhere you can take and with the help of protractor you are going to draw one 100 degree arc okay so the end points of these arcs uh, this arc is a and b so through point a and b you have to draw the tangents very simple one okay so first you have to draw the rough figure and then with the help of this rough figure we are going to draw the fair figure okay so let's start what with the, what is the first step here draw a circle now radius is not mentioned so you can take any radius and you will draw the circle okay so in the compass take approximate distance any radius you can take and draw one circle so this way you are going to draw a circle write the name of the center as point p only because it is mentioned in the question so you cannot take other letter for the center okay so this is center p now anywhere on the circle you have to consider point a okay so this is the radius of this circle and this is point a now you have to draw a 100 degree arc so what you'll do 
you will put pointer or you will put protractor on point p and you will take 100 degree mark so any way you can put place this protractor now i am placing it like this and then from the right hand side you are going to start counting 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100. Okay. So this is your 100 degree, degree measure. Now with the help of scale, you are going to draw a line. So this, this point is the point B and your arc is 100 degree okay we know that 100 degree means it is obtuse angle now you have to draw tangents to point a and point b so for that what you'll do yes you have to first extend this segment pa and then you will put pointer of compass on point a and you will draw one mark on the left of a and draw one mark on the right of a okay then you will take more than the half distance and you will put pointer on this mark and draw an arc above and draw an arc below similarly put pointer on the other mark you will draw an arc above and draw an arc below highlight the point of intersections and passing through point a you will draw one line this is the perpendicular so it is a tangent okay now you have to draw a tangent from point b so again you will put pointer on point b you will mark one arc on the left of b and draw one arc on the right of b then take more than the half distance put pointer on the first mark draw an arc above and draw an arc below similarly you will draw put pointer on the other mark and you will draw an intersecting arc above and draw an intersecting arc below then highlight the point of intersections here i am extending this arc for the point of intersection okay so this way and now you have to join these two points and it will pass through point b also so this way you have to join this it is perpendicular to segment pb okay so this way you have to draw two tangents from point a and point b okay I hope this construction is clear to all of you. So with this, I'll end this session here. Remaining sums we will do in the next session. Thanks for watching this video.